On behalf of the Department of Justice, it is my privilege to mark National Human Trafficking Prevention Month. Although the Justice Department works year-round to fight human trafficking, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about our ongoing efforts to combat this insidious crime from every angle. Human smugglers and traffickers use deception, isolation, and psychological coercion to endanger and exploit people for profit. Their victims are often some of the most vulnerable members of our society. That is why the topic of human smuggling and trafficking was one of the first areas I focused on after being sworn in as Attorney General. Two months into my tenure, I directed the establishment of Joint Task Force Alpha to bring together the Departments of Justice and Homeland Security to target the most prolific and dangerous human smuggling groups operating in Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras. Since then, Joint Task Force Alpha has had extraordinary achievements, including over 260 domestic and international arrests, more than 170 convictions, significant jail sentences, and substantial seizures and forfeitures of assets and contraband. And over the past nearly three years, the Justice Department has expanded its capacity to prosecute perpetrators of human trafficking crimes across all 94 of our U.S. Attorney's offices. Prosecutors in our Civil Rights Division's Human Trafficking Prosecution Unit have worked closely with the U.S. Attorney's offices and our law enforcement agencies to streamline investigations and to identify multi-jurisdictional trafficking networks. To further our efforts in 2022, the Justice Department launched our national strategy to combat human trafficking to bring the full force of the department to fight against human trafficking. Since then, we've taken sustained steps forward to make our anti-trafficking efforts stronger than ever. We have brought human traffickers to justice, dismantled trafficking enterprises, and empowered survivors to rebuild their lives. I am proud of the progress the department has made. But there is still much more work left to do. Human trafficking threats are evolving. Trafficking enterprises are using increasingly complex and coercive schemes to evade detection. As we recognize National Human Trafficking Prevention Month, the Justice Department is proud to recommit itself to combating these heinous crimes, to protecting victims, and to seeking justice for survivors. That is our commitment this month and every day after. Thank you.